Hey guys, welcome back to another video. There's a new tool in Wizard Web Builder version 18 known as Section. A section is simply a responsive self-contained layout container. An example of this is the card tool, which has been available in previous versions of Wizard Web Builder and still available in version 18. So you can take a look at it over here. So let me just bring a card here so we take a look at it. Now to also get the section to you simply will search for section and then bring that here as well. So you notice that there's a little bit of similarities between the card and the section. However, with the section, it looks like the object has been arranged haphazardly here. The reason is that the section two allows you to move object freely in it as compared to the card two where you have to stack objects on top of each other. So with a section two, when you double click on it, there are various tools that or objects that you can add to it. So when you click on add, you have the chance to add a button, a divider, an HTML object, an image. You can list items. You can also add a shape, a text, as well as video. So let's just go ahead to add a bit of each and every one over here. So let's just read me. Let me add a divider. Um, let me make this two. Okay, I'm not using a class here. Let me also add an image. And then also add, let me list some items. So maybe top. Let me just add that to the shape. Let me add this blob shape and then click on OK. And then some text. I already have some text, so that's fine. Let me just take this away. And then maybe a video. Let me just leave this for now. So let me click on OK. So you notice that I have um, a lot of objects added here. So let me just click on OK and then move these around. So I have my image here. I have my shape here. So let me move that here. Let me expand this. Bring this also here. This is my button. This is my text. Um, that's my list, my list item. This is my button. Let me bring that here. So, and then this is my text here. So oh, this is rather my button. This is my shape. This is a shape. Let me see what this is. Okay, this is just a divider. This is a divider instead. This is a list item. This is my shape. So you notice, as I was saying, with the section two, I am able to freely move objects around. Whereas with the card two, I can't do that. Now, what makes this even more cool is the fact that you can work or use this in objects like the layout grid. So, you know, layout grid will not allow you to freely move objects within it. So when I click on layout grid and then I move the card, you know, with the card, I can't, I just have to stack objects on top. However, with the section, I can still freely move all these objects here, as you can see that. And this is really cool. Let me just preview this. So you take a look at it. So you notice the way I arrange them in my section is the same way we see it over here. And that is very cool. So when using a section two also, and let's say you've arranged objects the way you'd want to have them. So let me just come back here. So this is simply a template downloaded from Wizard Web Builder website. And these are various cards being used with different tools over here. So these are just buttons. These are images. These are text and images. And then these are also image and then text and then images and so on. Taking this particular design as an example, you notice that we have these freely um, designed here where you can move them around. So let's say we are done designing whatever I want to have and we wouldn't want a situation whereby we mistakenly change position when we're trying to do something else. How do you go about that? A good aspect of this too is the fact that you can lock items in place so that you don't mistakenly uh, move them whereas you're trying to do something else. So you simply double click on them and then select this lock items and then click on OK. So you notice that I don't have the chance of moving these objects anymore unless I come back and then I select lock items or I change that back and then I'll be able to freely move them 
around as well. Now I'm not able to move this because I'm using this, of course, in the layout script. So I have to move it out and then move this out. Now you notice I can move this freely where I want to have it. And then once I'm done, I can bring it back to my layout grid. And then also there is a stretch link, which allows you to, once you create a link, you'll be able to stretch it on top of the entire section so that if you click on it or you hover on it, you see that the whole se uh, section is a link. So that is just about it for this tutorial and subsequent videos. We'll take a look at how to create something cool like this using sections in WYSIWYG Web Builder version 18. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.